everyone. So today I'm going to show you two very useful functions that you can use to conduct your live lesson. And I'm not going to go through all the basic functions about Zoom because I assume that uh, you have already learned it. Or if you don't, then you can go back to my previous video to when I when I introduce all these basic functions. Okay. And right now you can see that there are three camera filming me because uh, I want to show you one function is to how to put your students into different groups for group tasks like group discussion uh, during your live lesson and the function that we're going to use is called the breakout rooms so I have to have different people to join in my uh, my meeting my Zoom meeting to so that I can assign them to different rooms uh, for group tasks okay uh, breakout rooms in the breakout rooms so this is the first function that I want to teach you today the breakout rooms and the second function that I want to show you is to share your screen Yes, you may learn to share your desktop screen, but today I want to show you how to share your iPad screen. So that for any app that you uh, use to teach normally with the iPad, then you can also use it uh, during your live lesson with Zoom, okay? And so let's take a look with the breakout, breakout rooms now. Once you click breakout rooms, then um, it will give you some option. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll click recreate again, sorry, because just now I... Okay, so once you click breakout rooms, then uh, one browser will, a little browser will pop up asking you how you want to assign your participants, how many rooms you want to open for your participants, and whether you want, it to, uh, want them to be randomly put into the rooms or you manually want to assign them into different rooms. Like for example, if you have 30 students, you want uh, five people in, a, in one group, so you may want to uh, open six breakout rooms for them, so five students will be in each room. And you can do it randomly, automatically, or manually. If you do it automatically, then and once you cl cl click create rooms, then all the students will be automatically assigned to a room like this, like this. Okay, because now we only have two participants, so each room, uh, I open two rooms, and each of them will be in each room. And if you don't like it after the um, adding into the room uh, automatically, then you can actually move them to another room like that. So now you can see that uh, one student is moved to another room, okay? Or if you say, oh, I don't want it to be assigned, uh, I don't want the student to be assigned randomly to the to the group because they, they may originally have their own groups already. And uh, you may do it manually like this, okay? Then you need to click assign. And then you can choose the student into the room like this. Okay, so this is done manually. And once it's done, you can open all rooms okay you can open all rooms and i can show you okay i can show you so on my phone on my phone um another account a uh, notification will pop up and asking whether the students uh, would like to join the break, uh, breakout room so once you click once uh they click join they will be in the breakout room while you will still remain in the main room Okay, while well, you still remain in the main room because like all of a sudden all the students are gone. Now it's like just me in the in the big classroom right now because they're all in their own uh, breakout session. So I can show you and there's actually a little button at the corner. You may not be able to see it clearly. There, there's a little button, a blue button. It, it's called the ask for help button. So your student can actually ask for help. Uh, while they're in the breakout room because you're not with them, right? So once they click um, ask for help, then they will invite hope and then this message will pop up to you and then asking you to join their breakout rooms. You click um, OK, confirm, then you will join the breakout rooms to answer the question. So now I'm in the breakout room, answer the question. And assume that uh, I need to, right, right now I'm in room one and then there are some other students in other rooms and you want to give them a message all you need to do is just chat and then you type something here you type something on the side like this okay for example five minutes left okay 
and then the message will be broadcast to everyone in the screen. So um, when they finish their meeting, all they need to do is just click the button leave, leave button, the red button here, leave, and then the student will go back to their main session. Yeah, and then they can return back to the main session. So here, I should have all the people. Okay, I close it first, and I need to go back. I need to leave my breakout rooms too. So return to the main session, and then so everyone, including teacher, can go back to the main session like this, and then you can continue with your live lesson. So this is breakout room. All right. So uh, one more function that I want to teach you is to use your iPad to teach. And all you need to do is just click share screen. And then you click um, uh, iPhone iPad. OK, there's a plugin required. So you just need to install it for the first time. And then afterwards, um, you can you, you simply need to click that uh, iPad. And then you can share screens. And it will teach you how to connect your iPad desktop right now you have to be in the same um, same Wi-Fi network and then go to screen mirroring and find the word zoom Jenny learn and then you see so this is my iPad all right so you can see my iPad immediately this is how I share a screen so you can see that on one side all the students are here while your iPad is here and once you have your iPad basically you can use any tool that you like to teach. For example, this is my keynote. Okay, everyone, I'm going to talk about different types of analysis for films. And then you can go through the slide like this. Or if you don't like, you can use school notes. Okay, now I'm going to talk about selfish giants. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can use any tool on your iPad to teach. And if you have your pen, of course, um, you can write on it immediately, such as, okay, okay, this point, highlight it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and So you can see that I write and talk and speak at the same time. And uh, yeah, so this is how you can teach with your iPad. Okay, now, now I just need to click stop sharing. And then we'll go back to the room, uh, original room. So that's it. Um, this is what I want to teach you today. The first thing is to open breakout rooms for kids to do group discussion during a live lesson. And also the second thing is to share your iPad screen so that you can teach with your iPad. I hope you uh, this video can help you a little bit with your live lesson and make it more interactive and uh, more give you more variety to, to teach. And if you have any questions, feel free to find me. Okay, bye.